All right, just gonna make a video here of putting the idle screws in the Banshee carburetor. You get to remove the tours and it ain't gonna idle. So here's the kit you got from Vito's, there's other kits. This one comes with the drill bit, tap, idle screws. And here's the other car to show you what to do here. You're gonna drill, there's two bosses here on each side of the carb. And you're gonna drill through the one where you, you can get to from the outside of the carb. This is the right carb. Drill on the right side, left car, gonna drill on the left side next to the choke. Yeah, let's get started here. I'm gonna just blow that out. It's probably getting dark crap. Just blow it out. Take that off. Not air pressure kick on it leaks. Got a little bit of oil here. It's just this motor oil. I think it's real purple head. Just put a little bit down in there just to help with the drilling process. And here, let's get this open. Bear with me. I wanted to leave it in to leave the kit together for right now, just like show you what it looks like. Uh, in case you're wanting that exact one, turn down the one here. I don't want to go too crazy with it. But yeah, make sure you got it vice down pretty good. And just drill. And you're going to drill. Don't try to just jam it through to the other side. Just when you start, when you go through, just you're done. done i'm just going to do one carb just to show you i don't want to make a long ass pointless video like i already i got a bunch of those already so yeah and i got a little easier to get you a little feel that holds the tap you got one there's different kinds this one here will work just make sure you have a better hold on it and if you got the tap already it's a m6 by 0.75. Just gonna get make sure we get started in there straight. And that's why these things right here help. And it ain't too bad. Aluminum's easy to tap, which is also a bad thing because you gotta make sure you don't start going there crooked. So do it before you know it. It's too late. Eyeball it. A couple sides look straight there. That's pretty good. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, nice. Just take your time, don't get in a hurry. I mean, why are you in a fucking hurry for? Slow down. Just like that. Just go. Stand up. I got bad knees here. And bad back and everything. I got rapid aging disease, RAD. You heard of that or not? Yeah, I got that. Let's see. We got a ways to go. Once it gets tight, just kind of back it a little bit. Put the threads up. Back in, get a little tight. Just getting built up the threads. Back it up a little bit, go back. Okay, I see the tip. That's more enough. You can see the tip of that uh, <clears throat> tap. That's more than enough because only the tip of the idle screws are going to be sticking through there. So just enough to get up underneath that card, the slide, pick up on it. That's all it does. Let's back this all the way out. And we'll clean her out. Now there was one guy. I'm subscribed to him. I think it's South Texas Banshee. He does. He's got a bunch of really good videos. And he says that you need to grind this down or the aisle screw won't make it. 
But I think in one video he just took the lock nuts off because he uses thread locker. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to see how far it goes in first with the nut. I'm going to take the nut off. If it goes in far enough, I'm just going to use thread locker, blue thread locker. Some eye protection or something, cover your eyes. Or be an idiot like me, you know. And after you do this, the best to take the car apart, part, which I'm going to, is I gotta change jets in it anyway. Jets are way too big. Went to a test ride today. First time actually riding it. Did alright, but I noticed the Canaan filter wasn't charged. Brand new motor. It was just plum white, so I charged it by the away there, and it ran like crap. It just kept flooding out. Took, uh, took the breather off in the parking lot, rev right out. Put the breather on while it's running, starts choking it out. So I need uh, some smaller jets. It's just flooding itself out. Anyway, there's that. Nice tapped all the way through. You can see that? Put my finger in there. You can see that? Oh yeah, you like that, don't you? And just easy as that. Let me grab an aisle screw. I'm gonna leave the nut on there and see how far in it goes. Yep. The hose is in the way. Bear with me here, let me get a flathead screwdriver. Standard to the layperson. I can see it on mine. You can see the tip through there. Let me, uh, I'm just gonna walk with my forward so we're going on the trailer. I think that'll work. I'm gonna leave mine like that. I think that'll work. If not, I'll take the nut off and use thread locker. But anyway, yeah, easy as that. Bam, idle screw, done. See y'all later for some other pointless video. Bye.